In this tutorial, we'll be creating these glowing shapes and I'll be showing you how to modify them easily and composite them with the different shots. Let's get into it. So the shot that we're going to be working with is this one and the first thing we're going to do here is rotoscope it and track it. So let's go ahead and select the frame here, duplicate it, Control shift d to cut it short and double click this layer. Now let's go ahead and select the roto brush and always remember to make the first frame as accurate as possible so the roto brush can track everything together nicely. Okay, so as you can see, I chose most of the details here and let's play this back to see how it does. Okay, as you can see, it sticks around and creates a fairly good roto brush for our shot. Once you're done, go ahead and select freeze and wait for this to finish. Okay, so now we basically bake the rotoscoping onto this layer. And for tracking this clip, I think we can get away with 2D tracking, so let's go ahead and do that. I'll select my clip, go into track motion, and let's select one of these pieces here that stands out, maybe this, and track forward. Okay, this sticks pretty well. Let's create a new null object and click on edit target, select the null and apply it. Okay, so we got the tracking and the roto completed. Let's go ahead and create the shape. Start off by creating a new solid and we'll name this shape. I'll pre-compose it, move all attributes and let's go into this pre-comp. And the effect we want to add is called radio waves. So this is a pretty classic effect to just create shapes from the center and it's pretty easy to control. Let's go ahead and set the frequency to 6 and increase the expansion here. And as you can see, we got a lot more circles created and it's expanding rather fast. Let's decrease the lifespan here to 1 and set the fade in and out time to 0.5. Now you can control the width with these two settings. So I'll set this to 20 and 20 like so and maybe frequency set to 5. Okay, now let's set a keyframe for our frequency here. So on the first frame, I'm going to set a keyframe. Let's go to 1 and set it to 0. So we have just these few circles being created from the center, fading in and out. Now the cool thing about this effect specifically is if you go into the polygon, you can decrease the size here to create different shapes. So here we got a triangle. So just keep in mind you can play around with the shape right here. Let's go ahead and change the color to something a little more light blue. And I'm actually going to make my shape much thicker here. Let's pre-compose this and create a new solid. We'll call this gradient. And here I'm going to right click it, layer styles and select gradient overlay. Now if we go and expand the gradient here under style, you can see we got a bunch of options that basically creates different types of gradient. Now this will affect how our shape is being animated and I'll show you in a bit. So let's set this to angle. I'll pre-compose this layer and hide it. Now with our shape layer selected, let's add an effect called time displacement. Now if we set this to about 20 and this to 0.5 and select our new gradient, you can see our shape is being animated driven by the gradient. So if we go back here and change this from angle to reflected, you can see our shape is going to be animated differently depending on the gradient. I'll go ahead and set this back to angle. Let's go ahead and change the settings to maybe 8 and 0.4. I don't want too many details, so something like this should be cool. All right, and we can go ahead and go back into our main comp. So let's align the shapes here. So once the kick is happening, we'll have the shape appear. So about here and let's decrease the scale and drag it below our roto layer and make sure you parent it to the null object. Okay, so this is how we add the shape here. As you can see, it's behind our object and we can go ahead and play with the time of it. So let's make the time stretch here to maybe 60 just so it animates faster. Now the main part here is obviously adding a glow. So let's go ahead and add deep glow. If you don't have it, there are ways to create it using the default After Effects glow. In any way, I do recommend getting deep glow because it just looks insane on every shot. Let's play around with some of the settings here. Just decrease the exposure and radius a bit. And the cool thing about this one is if we go into the chromatic aberration and enable it, we do get this pretty cool effect here. And lastly, let's set the layer to additive. Now, one more thing we can do to sell the effect better is duplicate it. Let's make it 3D. Set the X rotation to 90 degrees and we'll drag it below here just to create sort of a reflection and we'll add a fast blur and just blur it out just to create some interesting reflection. 
Okay, so that's how you can create different kinds of shapes, adding a glow to it and composite them in your shots. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.